Welcome to day three of the Spirobics 2020. Hallelujah. I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we have come to class tonight is aerobics class, spiritual aerobics. And this instructor, the one and only Holy Ghost is here to lead us. Obviously, he's using somebody, but he is the one that is the leader of the class. He's the chief instructor. And we have other small instructors like myself. Amen. So welcome to day three of spiritual aerobics. This is just this five minutes just to familiarize you with what is going on here. What are we doing? We are exercising our spirit man to build more spiritual stamina and fitness so that we're able to push against stubborn resistance. You would find out that the more you exercise, Size yourself in the spirit, the more you are able to take on the challenges that come your way. So tonight we're going to just depend on the Holy Spirit to lead us in this class. I trust that he led you here and because he led you here, you would enjoy everything that he has in place for you tonight. Amen. I always advise make yourself comfortable because you, it's just 30 minutes. You don't want to have to be involved with anything else. If it is 30 minutes of praying in the spirit. I will be giving instructions over time and you would all you need to concern yourself with is giving those vocal cords of yourself and your lips to the Holy Spirit so that he can bring out the words of the spirit that are on your inside. He can bring it out into the earth through you. That is like God moving his processes and all his, his, um, his staring from the inside of, from God through you into the earth because the Bible says the heavens are the Lord's but the earth he has given to the sons of men. So for things to happen in the earth, he needs a man to cooperate with him. And by praying in the spirit, you are praying the heart of God. We learned on the very first day from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse two, he that prays in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto God. In the spirit, he is speaking. So you are speaking in the spirit. And because you, and that is because you are, you are a member of the spirit realm. You have, you are a spirit, you have a soul and you live in a body as a believer. And so tonight, as we continue in, in, in the whole exercise regime, I want you to be fully turned on to the Holy Spirit. Let him use your voice. Let him use your tongue. Let him use everything about you because it will make a big difference. Amen. Get yourself a pen and paper. I always say that the spirit of God is here and he wants to say things to you about you. He will not necessarily be speaking to me about you. He would definitely be speaking to you about you. He actually would rather speak to you about you. Amen. So get your pen and paper so that your memory does not disappoint you or fail you. Like somebody said, the shortest pen is better than the, the shortest pencil is much longer than the longest memory. Amen. So don't trust your memory. Trust that pen, okay? And trust God, okay? But you want to put the things down in writing. They're, they're going to constitute the, the decisions and the directions that God is going to be leading you in time to come. Amen. We get the opportunity to pray into the new year as well. The new year is coming, whether we like it or not. 2021 is coming. But by praying in the spirit, you allow the Holy Spirit to speak into that new year. Okay, so tonight we're going to be looking at praying uh, about, uh, continue to pray about our sight, but this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at how good those eyes are. You know, when you go to the optician, you have, the optician might say, oh, you're long-sighted, you're short-sighted, or you have 20-20 vision, okay? So tonight we want to speak into how well we see, okay? And at 7.30 on the dot, I want you to start speaking in tongues, regardless of what, what I'm saying, just start speaking in tongues, and I would be given instructions as we go along. So if you, op if you open your Bibles to um, Genesis chapter 13, the scripture will be put up on the screen for us to, to, um, to remind us of what it, is. it says. I am giving you all this land as far as you can see. To you, 
you and to your descendants as a permanent possession. This is God talking to Abraham. And this is how God expects you to see your inheritance in Christ. He said he's giving everything to you as, as a permanent possession, but you can have it as far as you can see. So begin to pray in the spirit now and ask that and begin to speak through speak out the heart of God so that your eyes can see further maybe so far you have seen just a little bit in your possession in Christ I want you to begin to stretch your spirit to see even further further than you have ever seen begin to take more grounds expand your territory Make sure you are speaking in tongues. Make sure you are speaking in tongues. Don't be tempted to speak in English or the language that you know. Speak in other tongues. Jesus. I want you right now to unmute yourself and speak in tongues into your <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
when when god met abraham he said to him in verse 12 in, in verse 14 he says lift up your eyes continue to pray in tongues don't stop lift up your eyes wherever you are lift up your eyes look upward that's where your your answer is as far as you can see can you see full restoration can you see the issues coming to the the negative issues coming to our end. What can you see? Stretch your spirit. Let it see to the extent that God has made available his provision. Begin to stretch your spirit by praying in other tongues. Begin to think about the about some of the things that God has, has promised in his word. And, and your mind is saying, is that possible? I want you to stretch your spirit and say, I see it. As you're praying in the spirit, you, you, you give power to your spirit and it gains ascendancy over the negative thinking, over the negative imagery, over the negative circumstances over, over all the things that are speaking against what God has said. Pray in the spirit, somebody unmute yourself. And Here is a Tiki <laughs> <laughs> 
Keep praying in the spirit. God is able to do more than we exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask of him according to the power that is at work in you. It's according to the power that is at work in you. How much power is at work in you? Oh, Bacasso de Grene, walk of uh, walk by the spirit of God walk on the inside of you the power that is at work in you the power that is at work in you according to the power according to the power yes he can do it yes he will do it but it is according to the power that is at work in you cause the power of God to walk on the inside of you come on as you cast your mind on those two things that you want the power of God to be to reveal in, begin to speak in other tongues. And the Boriada Soda, Godi Kato Dunia, Kato Dodi, Gagario do Soto, omit yourself and let us pray. Rato Soto Ti, Rapa,
people in tongues, don't stop praying in tongues. And as you're praying, see that those two areas, see them receive the exceeding and abundant power of God. See, see God exceeding and abundantly doing more than you can ask. What can you ask? What can you see? What can you think God is able to do much more than it? That is what your eyes need to see today according to the power that is at work in you. I want you to identify. Don't stop praying in tongues, but identify that extent that you want. God said to Abraham, it is to the extent that you see. That is what you can have. You can have it if you can see it. Bible says without a vision, the people perish. You can have it if you can visualize it. Oh, unmute yourself and pray over those matters and say, somebody can only all they can see is a tangled cotton wool tangled uh, wool that the uh, thread that's tangled up and they can't seem to make head or tail of it don't you worry you're in the right place pray in the spirit don't stop praying in the spirit just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit and your spirit man begins to gain ascendancy over the confusion over the over the uncertainties over over even all the uh, negative information that is bombarding your mind and bombarding your situation yes because when you are praying in the spirit but paul said i i when i pray in the spirit my spirit prays he says when i speak in an unknown tongue my spirit prays is your spirit that is praying it's it's praying out the heart of god it's praying out the mystery it's praying out the coded language and that is the main thing that what is coming out of your mouth is a coded language from heaven that is untying the, the tangles is untying the rubble is untying the maze or domica radonia the confusion is being diffused by the words that you are speaking don't stop speaking keep going Somebody unmute yourself and pray with me. what do you see in 2021 it is as far as you can see i want you to begin to see into the first six months of 2021 and say i i receive opening of my sight to see and i take all that is being revealed to me by the spirit of god for
for 2021. The first six months, go on, let's do it. Two minutes. I speak into the first six months of 2021. February, March, what do you see in the first six months of 2021 what do you see in the in the last six months of 2021 what do you see in july what do you see in august what do you see in september october november december of 2021 you said to me that's too far oh that is why you are here to us to stretch your ability to see far god said to abraham as far as you can see if you can see it you would have it hallelujah oh from your spirit don't be tempted to change into english or into your natural language from your spirit pour the heart of god into july into august into september october november of 2021 pray me somebody let's pray Having that, that you have built up, oh, continue to pray in tongues, continue to pray in tongues. Don't ever stop. This 30 minutes, you must make sure that you pray in tongues for 30 minutes. Well, I'm just changing, I'm, I'm just giving you instructions on what to focus on. Right now, you are focusing on whatever that stubborn, stubborn resistance is. Like I have said again and again, your resistance answers to your persistence. Every resistance that is that, that rises up against you obeys persistence. You say to me, will you obey today? 
I know it will obey it regardless of what your clock is saying or what your calendar is saying. Why don't you pour from the spirit of God, the heart of God into that resistance and say, here you go today. Unmute yourself. says in first Corinthians chapter 14 verse 17 he says for thou verily gives thanks well when you give thanks in the spirit don't change don't change to English or to your natural language begin to give thanks oh begin to give thanks in the spirit some of us like to sing in the spirit he says I will pray in the spirit and I will pray my understanding also I will sing in the spirit you can sing in the spirit now sing in the spirit matato kronegeria as praise and adoration as gratitude and 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 and, and, and beautiful melodies begin to come out of your heart in the on the language of the spirit the language of the spirit masketoto dikaria oh parado suda omit yourself let's praise the lord Thank 
Oh, we bless you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the utterance of your spirit in our midst. Thank you, Lord, for flowing out of us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for finding us worthy to flow through us into mankind, into humanity. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, we've come to the end of another beautiful, beautiful time in the presence of God. Thank you for joining. Join us tomorrow at 7.30 and we will have an even better